All right, both teams on the court ready to go. You want to know about these teams' bodies of work? Yeah. So how do they get how do they get to three and zero? Chance to to go unscathed at a pool play. Well for uh, for Iran, they started with a 21 to five win over Sri Lanka. They followed that up with a 21 11 win over Andorra. You just saw them earlier in a thriller as they came back to steal one from Malaysia with a bank shot from the from forever away in the waning seconds. How Russia get here? Well, they beat Malaysia by nine. Then they beat Andorra by six, and then they just destroyed Sri Lanka. 22 to 1 in a record margin of victory. 21 points they won that game by. So it comes down to the top dogs in Pool D. You'll see them again the day after tomorrow when we get to our medal rounds. But this will prove who the, who the cream of the crop in the pool actually is the number one seed. Russia, obviously, the higher ranked of the two. They're the five seed in the world number five. Iran, the 13 seed, world number 18. And a foul called on the inside. Pazdinia Kova is going to shoot one. She uh, won bronze for Russia, the FIBA 3X3 U18 Europe Cup 2018. So she's already got one medal in her cabinet, a bronze medal. She's going to be going for gold here in Xi'an. She makes the free throw to get the score and start at 1-0 Russia. And the runner from Sheeta is missed. Oh, man. She got major game. And Andrew Shenko has her uh, score answered, though, off the glass. But I, I was about to say Alexandra Andrushenko at 17 years old, number 86 for Russia, has been one of the, the more impressive uh, players in the tournament, whether it be men or women. Great effort for her for uh, Team Russia and their effort to go undefeated. Iran ain't gonna make it easy on them. They want, they want to go undefeated just as, just as much. One thing about Iran, they make some they make some tough shots. That one wide open and cashed in. So coming her over makes it a four to two game and now it's Iran's turn to answer back. Coming her over swings it to the wing and this time Marlamova couldn't hit it. Neither can Iran. Elisveta starts the ball movement. Two ball, corner pocket. I told you she was good like grandma's cookies. Andrushenko, the youngest on the team. But it looks like she's been playing this game for a long time. Five point lead for the Russians. And a shot clock violation. Russian men's team mate, hanging out. So, and Tony Koski. Stanislaw Shiro, what up, fellas? They'll be back at it tomorrow. They got off to a strong start in their tournament as well. Big win over Hungary for them on uh, day two. Talking about the Russian men, as well as Kyrgyzstan. It was Netherlands, excuse me, not, not Hungary. Hungary's undefeated. <laughs> Hungary was undefeated. Four point game. So what a uh, what a tourney it has been thus far. If you've been if you've been watching from day one, man, shout out to you. We appreciate it. Showing a lot of love, but uh, while we spread the love, and 
defense underneath. Uh, while we spread the love, we got to show appreciation to all who helped make this event possible. The Chinese Basketball Association. Great job organizing along with the Shanxi Province Basketball Association. And of course, our founding partner, Nike. Nice pass for the score. They all helped make this thing possible. So far in this one, it's been all to Russia. Seven to five, seven to two, five point game. So you uh, step aside for a moment. Three minutes passed and again, this the final game for the women on the day. You know what we got in store for you tomorrow is the, our medal rounds matchups. Our quarterfinals will be set after at the end of business tomorrow. We'll see uh, pools C and A in action for the ladies, B and D. As we've alternated through our four days of pool play. Try to bounds it goes, kick ball. Back in the Red Army's possession. They're going in for the kill. Didn't get it up in time. That would be a shot clock violation. So uh, not only do we have a uh, couple of games left, we got our first round of the women's shootout qualification coming up. That'll be coming up uh, after this game. Six twenty-four left. Russia still stuck at seven. Iran, meantime, still stuck at two. Two left on the shot clock, got to get something up. And it's also got to touch the rim. Turnover. So uh, Russia not as sharp, not as sharp. Oh, runner, the hook, missed. Still 7-2. Little pull up, too much on it. Oh, but stays with it. And the layup still off target. Oh, nice pass there, but good recovery deep. Shot off the, off the mark as well, five and a half. Left. And you never know. Iran's not a team you want to let hang around. Russia add another point as Pazni Yakova. She's going to make it 8 to 2. Step back with nowhere to go. Another drop in the bucket for the lady wearing number 86. Andrushenko. So nine to three, six point game. Mother Russia with the advantage here with five, less than five minutes to play, 451 officially. Oh, the step back from way back. Is uh, way out of bounds. Four minutes, 39 seconds left in the game. We're now past the halfway mark. So Iran's offense has kind of run dry a little bit here. After reaching the 21-point mark in the first two pool play games. 
They are now getting handled fairly easily by Russia. 10 to three basketball game. And a steal. And a swing. Open like a double click. You already know that's gonna connect. Komarova makes it 12-3. First to 21 wins it. Well, the team with the most points after 10 minutes expires. I'm not sure this one will reach the 10-minute mark. Russia keeps it going like this. They could be working on another, another double-digit win, potentially. So they lead it right now by nine. The two forced up late in the shot clock. Shot clock violation. And the TV timeout. This is uh, game number 18 of 20. Next up, we got round three of the shootout. Which is, uh, I think, 50, 58. Yeah, 58 by my count. 58 pool play games in the books. We'll do, we'll do 80 through four days when it's all said and done. We are obviously more than halfway through. We'll get back to it tomorrow. Another, another 1 p.m. start. Just to give you a little extra info ahead of tomorrow. Foul call on uh, Russia, offensive foul. So the rock over to Iran. Step through scoop. Comes up empty. So we've seen a couple of uh, droughts, offensive droughts for both teams at stretches. Russia's obviously been more consistent putting the ball in the bucket with a 12 to three lead, but Iran. They run it, they, I think they're seeing just how tough the competition can get. Russia is among the best, not only in ranking, but the proof is in the pudding in the way that they play. They move the ball, they knock down open shots as Varlamova did just that. And makes it a 10 point game. <laughs> 255 left. Russia. Oh, almost. We're gonna add another point, but they didn't clear it. Ref Glenn said they didn't clear it, so they didn't clear it. Eleven point game. So Iran, no offense to speak of in this one. This won't, this won't take away from their, from their performance here in pool play. I still think this, this is a good team, and an intentional foul right there. I still think this is a good team, but obviously Russia is just a, just a step, step better. A little more than a step better in this game. Next up, round three of the shootout. So look uh, at some of the highlights in this one. There have been a couple for uh, for Iran, not many. Another dominant effort for Russia. 
at women's teams, even at the senior level. We've seen them take gold at the World Cup, silver as well. And one matter of fact, women won gold at the World Cup and the Europe Cup in the same year. I think that was 2017. Off the mark and bounces out of bounds. Under two minutes to play. This one a foregone conclusion. Just waiting for the final buzzer to sound in this one. Or see, can, and see if Russia can get to 21. Iran will certainly not get there. And the pull up, cashed in, Bazdidnikova. Long ball. There's a there's a glimmer of something from Iran. Sixteen five. Russia has run away with it and run away with pool D for the women. Four O. Oh. Can they reach twenty one? They got seventeen and counting. Asadi. Sabitzade, she launches it to beat the shot clock, but. Thirty seconds. Oh, rattled out. Approaching <laughs> twenty seconds left. And 15 ticks to go. Oh, splash ball. All right. It's, uh, it's 19 to, to 5. I don't know if they'll get 21. No, they won't. Traveling violation is called. One point eight left before it's a done dilly. And that's it. 19 to 5. Mother Russia. Show who's boss. In a battle of previous unbeatens. So Russia take care of Iran in another blowout.